All right. So if we wanted to add the tax and the shipping totals to my invoice, what kind of what kind of formula would I use? What kind of field? I gave you the answer. So this would be the grand total, right? This would be the grand total. And it would be a formula. And let's say that our tax is 8%. So what would be the formula that I would use? I would say, give me the invoice subtotal, right? Right? Multiply that times 1.08. And then add the shipping costs that are in here. And then the formatting should be currency. And let's save it. And that is exactly right. And if I want to know, if I want to know who was the customer that I sold this to, don't I have a customer ID here? Yeah, I do have a customer ID. In fact, if I click on the customer ID, let me click on it real quick. I should be able to see every single order that a customer had. And then if I click on that order, then I should be able to look at the details of that order, et cetera, et cetera, right? So let's just, I don't like to see the, the number ID. I want to see the, the name. So let me just do the name. So I'm going to say customer name. And this is going to be a, what we call a lookup. So instead of looking at another table and aggregating a bunch of values, I'm just going to look at another table and look at what is the value that corresponds to my ID. In this case, I want to get the customer name. So I want to look up my customer name based on my customer what? ID. And what is the formatting? Just text. And I can save it and it shows, ah, sorry, it's customer name and customer name in here. Did I not do that correctly? Yes. So there you go. So that is a lookup, right? <laughs> Using the customer ID, give me the name of the customer's name and put it on this table. And if I wanted to group by customer name, I just use the group function right here by customer name. And it gives me a pretty fancy way of looking at customers with all the transactions as well. So that's all I have for today, you guys. Uh, the third thing we'll go over chapter seven. Can we read chapter seven again? What is the exam? Next week. Next week.